guys, MJ here from Nightcore Singapore. Today we're going to look at the new Nightcore P30i. Alright, and why? If you can only buy one searchlight this year, this is the one to own. If you're here watching this, then you're probably looking to replace that huge bulky searchlight that you currently have. Right, or you're looking for the latest lights that give you the longest beam distance in the smallest possible size. Alright, now when it comes to search lights, the minimum you're looking at is a 1km beam distance. Alright, here you can see it's 1km. Right, anything shorter than that is not going to cut it, especially if you're going to use it out on a helicopter, from a guard tower, like shipping vessels, hunting and more, right? So when I show clients lights that actually hit the 1km mark, like the PM16 GT, right? This is a 1km light as well, right? And then the TM39, of course, which is a 1.5km light, right? And then, of course, the MH40 GT, which is also a 1km light. Right then, after they see this tree, then they'll say, Oh, this is too big for me, right? Then, oh, this is too long for me. Right then, TM39, oh, this is too heavy. Oh, and the battery is too cumbersome, right? You mean I can only use this gigantic battery, right? So what if it dies, right? I mean, then I'm stuck. And of course, the whole thing is just too expensive. The TM39 is about 800 Singapore dollars, right? And the TM16 is about 450 Sing dollars without batteries, right? So because of all of these uh, cost barriers, right? Many clients and teams have to give up real searchlights and settle for something cheaper or lesser that may hinder their work, right? So not every client can afford to equip their whole team with $800 searchlights, right? So if you have a team of, let's say, 10 or 20, you know, the numbers add up to a huge, huge amount. Now, all that was true until last month when Nightcore announced the new P30i, right? A 2000 lumen light that has a 1km beam, okay? So this is the P30i, right? Not only that, it's also less than half the size and less than half the price of uh, traditional searchlights, right? This literally is half the size. Okay. So because of that, the P30i is now officially the smallest light with the longest beam distance in all of Nightcore's lineup, right? The P30i is also the third generation of a long line of P30s, right? So it started with the very old P30, right? <laughs> Look at the box, right? Then there's a new P30 here and then of course now the most recent version would be the P30i. Alright, so what this means is that you're going to get a flashlight that's been upgraded three times over the years. You're going to get the most advanced, longest lasting, fastest charging and brightest P30 yet. So earlier I mentioned if you can only buy one searchlight this year, this is the one to own. Right? And here are three reasons why. So number one, of course, being the beam distance. Before we dive into that, here's how it works. It's the box, when you get it, once you open it, the light is there, the battery is here. Let's just pop this light out, all right? Here's how it works. So they've added a metal mode switch here from the MH12S series. So how you turn it on is you click on from the back here. Once you click on, then you use the mode switch in front to change brightness, right? From low, medium, high, all the way to turbo. Now at 2000 lumens, this shines up to one kilometer. And it does that because of a single LED with deep reflector. All right, look at that, single LED deep reflector. When looking at such lights, you want to avoid lights with multiple reflectors like the C2 here. Alright, look at four LEDs. Alright, this is the equivalent of taking four smaller lights, aiming at the same spot, and to try and make it brighter. Right, it's not going to work. You won't get the same clarity on a far away target as you would a single LED with deep reflector. Right, if you're looking for a flat light, yes, this approach works. That's why you have all the i4000R, the TM10K with multiple, multiple LEDs inside for flat light. That works, okay? But for far away targets, the most efficient beams are this single LED deep reflector, all right? Look at the TM39. Single LED, massively deep reflector. Same as the MH40 GTR. Right, all single LED deep reflectors. These are all fantastic long beam lights. All right. All right, when it comes to beam patterns, here's how a 2000 lumen beam looks like. Right in a close close up room, you can see that there's a very high tight spot here with a very wide spill. All right, then you compare it with flat light. It looks like this. All right, it's a P18 on flat light. Of course, this is a small room, so I'm gonna take it out to show you how a long beam light compares with a flat light over wide range, right? Alright guys, this is the P30i, a 2000 lumen, 1 kilometer beam, alright? So here's how it looks like. Look at how tight the hotspot is. 
So now the key with search lights is that it has to be at least 1km right so you can look for items or threats or dangers under things like this right like a bridge you can clearly see you know find what you're looking for for example especially in a search and rescue ranges if you're looking for you know uh, dangerous animals that kind of things right so compare it with a flat light so the p18 here which is also around 2000 lumens this is 1800 lumens but it's made as a flat light look at the beam profile it's made to light up a wide area in front of you okay look at that and look at p30i very sharp hot spot with a wide spill so now if you compare it at distance can i see what is under the bridge i can't right with the p18 but if i use the p30i yes i can very clearly point out what objects they are under the bridge okay look at the other side there right i can very clearly see what is under if i switch to p18 I can't, I can't reach it, okay, because it's meant as a flat light. So it's very important when you're picking lights, to get the right light for your purpose. Alright, that's it, this is the P18 versus the P30i. Alright, P30i here again, this is a really great long distance uh, area for you to test the light, so you can clearly see that Hey, what am I searching for? It's my target under the bridge area, you know. It's very sharp and clear. Alright, this is a true one kilometer search light. Alright. The bridge, you can see them flying the drones over there. Alright, can I identify anyone at all looking anywhere? Yes, because of how tight the spot is. Alright. Look at that. Compared with, let's say the P18, which is also a 2000 lumen light, right? But it's a flat light, so you can see it sort of lights up everything. But I cannot see the back wall, for example, right? Here I can see the back wall, here I can't see the back wall, right? You, you can't get the light to push as far, right? Can I see under the bridge at all with the P18? I can't, right? With the P30, I can. Look at that, there's a very big difference there. Especially for search and rescue. Right? P18, I can't see. P30, yes. So you might be wondering, why would I ever need to see something at 1km? Right? Even during the day, I can't see that far with my own eyes. Correct. 1km is paper specs. Right? In real life, when you factor in air pollution, fog and other sources of lights from buildings, it drops down to about 500 to 700 meters. So what you're really going after is how intense the middle of the beam is, all right? You can measure this by looking at the CD rating or just by looking at the hotspot. So here's the P30i, right? Look at the very wide spill with a very intense hotspot. This is the P18, a flood light, right? Same brightness, but look at how diffused the light is. Everything is a flood, smooth light. So this is for close range use. So, but what does this mean in real life for you, right? So two things. First, you get a beam that is very visible from far, right? And that's a true story. This actually saved the life of uh, one of our clients. So he was night diving out at sea, but strong currents separated him from the group. And when he surfaced, he found himself be behind a huge island, right? So even the boat couldn't see him, even if he deployed his dive marker, right? So he, he was started here, and then as he dived underwater, he went up behind the island, right? So his boat was here, he couldn't see him. Okay, so, but thankfully, he had the older SRT-7. Right, which had a 400 meter beam. Okay, so he waved it up into the night sky and the boat was able to see his beam from, you know, behind the island, right? You can see the beam from here, right? Imagine what that would look like with a 1km beam, right? If you were lost in the forest at night and you needed air support to find you, just set this on SOS, point it up into the sky and they'll be, they'll be able to see a tower of light, right? Marking your exact location. Right, so this works for tactical applications as well where you need, uh, let's say, radio silence but you still need to identify yourself as friendly so you don't get shot when you're approaching a vessel for instance. Right, with the P30i, you can precisely point at the location right, and silently signal, say, three short and one long. Right, With other search lights like the, let's say, TM39, it is impossible to do this right, because of the nature of the switches, I cannot do momentary signaling, right? There's no real tail cap for me to do what I did with this P30i. 
The second thing that makes this type of beam useful in real life, it cuts through heavy rain, fog, snow and water, right? If you use a floodlight in heavy weather, you light up all the rain in front of you instead of, you know, pushing the beam through. So if you, it doesn't matter if you're a civilian or operator, this type of beam profile will work in your favour. Even if just for fishing in clear waters, this kind of beam will reach the bottom of the river or pond. So the number two reason why this is the only searchlight you should get is the battery type. Okay, so traditional older searchlights need custom batteries. Like the TM39 uses a custom battery pack here, which is very expensive and very cumbersome. The problem with this is that you need to have a lot of spare battery packs and these are hard to find. The alternative is to use a lot of smaller batteries like the TM16 GT here. These uses four 18650 batteries, right? Or the MH40 GTR, right? This uses two 18650 batteries. But since the creation of these new 2170 HPI batteries, right? This is the 5000 mAh version that comes with the P30i, which packs the power of multiple batteries combined, right? So we can now shrink a large flashlight into the body of, you know, just this. Right, see the difference? Look at the thickness of the battery, battery compartment, which is easy to handhold and you know, easy to belt carry. So these are the batteries of choice going forward. As you see, more and more lights using them like the P10i, P20i, and now the P30. But does it run on other batteries? Like, yes, this P30i, it can take two times CR123 batteries with the included battery magazine, right? So you just pop two CR123s in here and it works the same as the 21700 HPI battery. But do note when you run these older batteries, you cannot access the full 2000 lumens. You're limited to 1000 lumens, which is still very decent, all right? The third reason is USB fast charging. Slightly older lights like the i4000R takes about six to eight hours to fully charge a 5000mAh battery. The new P30i does it in just 4 hours. Right, that's insanely fast, which translates to less downtime and more uptime. Right, the charging port is cleverly hidden at the back here. Peel it open there. Right, not on the side like other lights because it also doubles as a port for the remote switch for rep weapon mounting. Right, so this remote switch here comes with the P30i. Right, it connects to the back here. Right, once it's all connected, you can control the light with the remote switch here. So the bottom parts, if you press and hold, it just gets your momentary on-off, like signaling, right? If you tap the back area, you can turn on and turn off and turn on and change brightness as well. Then you tap to the front, right? You can change your brightness all from the remote switch. Turn it off again, if you press the power button on the remote switch, oh, it goes into your strobe, right? So everything can be accessed from one remote switch if you're gonna use this for hunting or weapon mounting, right? When it comes to charging, you can use the included USB-C cable, right? Plug it to a 2A USB port to get fast charging, right? So I'm gonna use the SCL10 battery power bank here. Turned on, you can see this is powering it up. You can see the indicator light here, right? Blinking means it's charging. Once it stays constant on, it's fully charged, all right? When you're not charging the light, you can tell the battery capacity by looking at the mode button. So if you turn on the light, all right, you can see here the mode button. If it stays on like this, the battery is above 50%. If it starts to slowly blink, it's under 50%. If it starts to rapidly blink, means it's close to zero, all right? So you, you know exactly when to charge. There's no guessing, it's very, very simple. There's also SOS and beacon modes, which you can access by triple pressing the mode button. So when it's off, you just press three times, one, two, three. Then now it goes on to beacon mode, right? This is especially useful for marking your location at night, right? You can also press and hold to go to SOS mode. So now it's a three short, three long. All right, so there's no cone attachment, you know, as this is too large, but there are color filters that give you red light, green light, or just blue light, okay? Look for filters that are about the 65 mm size, right? So being a weapon light with the remote switch, they've added front springs in the front here, right, to stop the battery from slamming into the circuit board during a weapon recoil or when you drop the light on the ground, right? Cheaper lights like the MH10, doesn't have this feature, so they're not as tough. Right? You can tell when the light has springs in front by pressing down the back. Right? If there's no springs, it would not go down, but now you see it does go down. So you can tell that there are springs at the front. Right? If you just slam it down, you can see the battery try and pop up. Okay. All right. Next are carry options. The P30i comes with this three-way nylon holster here. All right. So flap on top. Let's show you how it pops in. Sway. 
flap on top, D-link loop behind, Velcro at the back here, okay, and a fixed loop here. You can also get the optional NTR10 grip ring which you can attach here, right, exactly at this point, but this does not work with any of the holsters, so you're gonna have to pocket carry this if you intend to attach this, right? So that's basically the three main things about this light that makes this night course new flagship long beam light all right 1km beam distance packed into such a small size you know modern 21700 batteries all right and last is of course the usb-c fast charging all right combining with all the other features accessories and ways to carry you have the smallest and longest throwing search light in night course entire lineup all right so if you can only buy one search light this year this is the one to own with best-in-class tech, you know, refined over the years, there's nothing better than the P30i right now when it comes to handheld search lights. Okay, so imagine carrying a light like this, right, compared to your your teammates which are carrying the MH40 GTR, right? Look at the the length difference, especially for long ops, right? You need to pack six to eight batteries for this, right? But for the P30i, you get double the runtime with the same amount of space. It's all about efficiency now. Right, you can even carry two P30i's for redundancy in the space of one MH40 GTR. So all these are now in stock at nightcallites.com. If you find that this is useful to your work, it's 249 Singapore dollars for the P30i. And if you buy it online from us today, I'll also throw in Nightcall's best-selling utility pouch, right? The NUP30. Right, it comes with attachment hooks here, which you can mount anywhere on the sides to attach to your backpack or you can carry it by itself with its included shoulder sling. Right, this is $49, you'll get it free. Right, next is also night cost cooler keychain light. Right, the Teeny 2 with OLED display. Right, you're gonna get the black one, but here I'm gonna show you the grey one. Right, OLED display at the back. This tiny little thing does 1 to 15 to 60 to 200 to 500 lumens. So this is turbo mode. There you go. Alright, turbo mode at 500 lumens. This is $69, you also get it Free. You also get the most popular pair of binoculars in our store, the NWG 8x22 binoculars. Now we've been hunting for the best pair of compact binos for the longest time. All right, and we finally hunted down the factory that makes all the high-end branded binoculars and we got them to make us this OEM unmarked and unbranded versions but with the same high performance optics. Right, This is $49, you'll get it free. Right, so if you buy everything outside, it's $416, but you can get it now for just $249 with coupon code P30i free. Alright, so this is the best offer anywhere for the P30i, so don't waste it. Alright, you can also go for 3 month installments, so there's literally no excuse to take advantage of this incredible offer. Alright, so again, P30i, NUP30, Teeny, and the 8x22 Binos. Right, all for just $249. They're all in stock now. If you need to buy in bulk for your organization, just contact me directly and I'll be able to work out a deal for you. Right, so as usual, this will sell out fast, so order yours today. Once your order is placed, we'll correct everything to your door within a couple of days. Link to order is in the description below. As usual, this comes with our 60-day money-back guarantee and fast free 5-year warranty. Right, so there's no risk at all. If you buy the whole set, then you feel like Oh, maybe I want to go with the larger TM39. Alright, that's okay. By all means, just return everything and we'll swap it up for the TM39 for you. Alright, that's it. If you'd like to see more videos like this where we help you choose the best lights for your work or adventures, subscribe below and I'll see you on the next video. Alright, MJ signing out.